Someone who knows firsthand about depression and is trying to help the fight with fighting bullying and lift up kids and then work about their mental health is local artist Juan Muniz. In fact, Juan has an exciting announcement about how his art is being used on a national platform in a very positive, inspirational way. Juan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having me. Good to have you back. I know we talked about a month ago when your book and your characters, Felipe, mm -hmm. were about to go national on Hot Topics and yes. your whole story is these are characters that are hoping to start the conversation with kids about mental health, about depression, about anxiety, even bullying. Yeah, I mean, um, with something that was so personal to me creating these characters, it was it was for kids, you know, it's for adults, it's for everybody. You know, it, it's something that's so near and dear to my heart because it, it's something that I believe needs to be spoken more. Absolutely. You know, we, we kind of internalize a lot of it. We kind of keep it to ourselves because whether it's the stigma or we don't want to bother our friends and families, but in, in all honesty, speaking about it is what's going to help end it. And this is so deeply personal because you yourself have really fought some mm -hmm. serious depression and um, some dark times, but yeah. really through your art, you've not only saved your own life, but you're hoping to do the same for others and for kids who are in that dark place or young adults. And your characters, by the way, we've seen them, of course, with Gold Knights and everything like that, but yeah. this is your character, Felipe. Yeah. Just went to Hot Topics last week and it's like selling out across the country. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even know the date it was actually launching. I got a, I got an email from, from the company that like, pro like provides them for them. And they're like, hey, they're live right now. I went on the website and I'm just, I was stunned like for the, like, the first few minutes. And, and that's the put on a happy face, right? Yeah, it's like, you know, it's a smile figure. It's actually a collection of toys. We did four different color versions. You know, there's a green version for the smile, there's that version for sad. You know, it's like, and there's other versions that sold out, but these are the ones that are exclusive to Hot Topic. And you also have like t-shirts too, like, you know, self-care. And yeah. what's so great is this is a difficult topic. It can be very, you know, sad to mm -hmm. discuss, but with these characters, it makes it a great conversation starter with, with families, with teachers, yeah. because they're so approachable. Like he has a little broken heart, but every one of your uh, plushy animals and also any of the merchandise comes with a story. Yeah. Also comes with ways to get help, local resources, yes. suicide prevention, all that, right? Yeah, especially with a, with a, lot, a lot of the apparel that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're we're going to put the uh, the suicide prevention hotline number on the t-shirt it itself. Um, you know, especially with the, with the bunnies. You know, how many times have we cried ourselves to bed holding onto that pillow? Mm -hmm. I wanted to create something. You know, it's just kind of these tight to feel that you're not alone. You know, that's why the, the plushy characters were really important for me. And I know your art has been so inspiring for so many different reasons and for so many different people, but now using your art for this message and helping kids raise awareness about mental illness, I know the reaction has yeah. been so strong from parents and even kids saying things to you about this. Yeah, one of the biggest things to me was seeing the kids, you know, being able to finally speak up to their parents, whether it be, you know, it's like they don't have the words to put it together how they feel because these feelings are so complex, even for adults, it's hard to put it out there. So even holding on the illustration, holding on the toy, it's like they, they get to tell the parents like this is kind of how I feel mm -hmm. even though I can't express it like verbally this is how I'm feeling today and yeah. your book too um, I'm not okay is yeah. so powerful and also too something great too if parents want to pick that up as well but um, honestly just great work I mean you do you're such a talented artist anyway but now that you're using your story to help others with this important important cause for mental health is so important yeah I feel that you know with everything that I'm doing especially with my life I want to be you know I have two daughters I want to give a good example to them but I want to most importantly I want to be able to help and you know it's it's something that you hear a lot of times it's like you know if you see a problem you could either you know stay quiet or you got to do something about it you know and i just got tired of staying quiet about it i've seen so many people that we lost i need to step up well you're doing something about well, it my friend thank, thank you, you so much. much juan again hot topics and also on his website as well felipe how cute right